So remember those two grooves. You got one groove on the top, as you can see here, and then one groove, one groove on the bottom. See where they go right in. Make sure you you can just feel for it without even looking to get these grooves, get these flanges, flanges rather, into the grooves over there. So a groove in the top, groove in the bottom. It's just a matter of slide it in and out. Slide it in. Slide it in. That's it. Clean and simple. You can see the grooves on the bottom. Can you see it? It's probably. I think you can see. You can see it, but same way the top is, the same way the bottom is. Okay, then you have this bracket. And then just two screws. Just gotta push this in some more. It's not all the way in. There we go. So I'm in, I'm all the way in right now. Okay, that's that. This bucket right here goes like so. See the holes lined up. Close enough. Two screws. So now, we're off to the wiring phase. This is part two of part one. So yeah, I could get to uh, the yellow on orange to switch that with one hand if I need to. The rotation, but it fits pretty nice, as you can see, guys. Fits pretty nice. Yeah, it fits pretty nice. Now, the rotation on this, the rotation of this has to be that way. Like it has to be going that way and around and around like this way. Like so. That's a proper rotation. So that's a proper rotation. Because you see how these louvers are scooped? So the, the air it has to scoop the air. The blades. The blades has to scoop the blades has to scoop the air. So the rotation has to be so the blades could scoop the air. That's the rotation. Rotation in the rotation so we can scoop the air. Okay. That's it. That's the proper rotation. So it's rotating with the scoop. Scooping the air. But if you're a pro, you should know that. That way, that's the rotation. That's the rotation. Okay. So let's get this thing wired up. Okay, so motor is installed. Got my capacitor. Got my capacitor mounted. Yeah, I just use some zip ties and secure it. Have my capacitor wired. That's the two brown wires, as I, as I showed in the previous video. And I got the high speed of the motor connected to one to the normally open contact of my relay, as you could see. Normally open. And if you got questions about this, just leave it in the comment section. You know, this is simple enough. I'll just answer them. It's just one, two, three. You know what I mean? So yeah, if you got questions, just leave it in the comment section. So I got the the black, which is the high speed connected to my relay like I said I was gonna do in the previous video so go watch that video if you haven't seen it 
Now the low and then the medium speed I have capped off. So I won't be using those. And here's my common or my neutral or line two, whatever you want to call this. All right, this is going to be for, for my motor. So I'm going to go ahead now. This was this was the power for the ECM motor. This was a power connector. So this was this was like right up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these wires. It's 28 power. And obviously this part right here was for all this, which I'm not using. See, it's got some cold up right here. Sit there later on if you want to put it back, you can. But uh, I don't see why you would. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and connect one hand, one of these wires to my relay. And the other wire to my uh, line two or neutral for my uh, motor.